A little while ago, perhaps just the other day, a piccolo player just wanted to play. She'd blow a tune that would soar aloft. She'd play real loud. Then play. Real soft. And while it was fun to play alone, both high so low, she longed to play with others, not just go solo. So, she ventured into town to see what she could see. And what she heard was shocking. A wild, unruly, cacophony. She followed the noise. was filled with musicians. All in fits of rage. She heard music and shouting, screaming, and blasts, odd notes, and sad pouting. All fighting. like cats. Then the piccolo player stopped to a screech, for she heard something a bit strange. All the players had a different way of speech, an astonishing varied linguistical range. The tuba player spoke German. Trumpets from Spain. The cellos from Italy. The trombones, all Dane. The bass is Russian. The oboes from Peru. The clarinets, Russian. The bassoons from Timbuktu. Half the flutes spoke Arabic. 
the other half Chinese. The French horn, not French at all, but spoke Czech with ease. One drummer hailed from India. The other from Kathmandu. And if the concert master is the only one from Thailand, well, there's little one can do. The violins and violas all spoke English. How could they possibly fight? But they did, since the violas came from stage left and the violins leaned to the right. The piccolo player stood stunned. How could they possibly all play together? Perhaps the conductor could help before the orchestra was doomed forever. With a single finger to her lips, the conductor quieted the band, and a hush could be heard as she tapped on the stand. The woodwinds dwindled to a silent breeze. The string so quiet, you could hear the trees. The brass tumbled to the slightest roar, while the percussion you couldn't hear them anymore. Now, with the stage totally silent, the conductor had the oboe play one note. He started with a simple A. It's a good place to start. Why vote? The violins, too, played that single note A. Until all the strings joined in, why wouldn't they? Then the woodwinds, including the flutes, then the horns and trumpets and trombones added their long toots. What a glorious noise as all the rest tuned, one note after another as if they were festooned. Yes, strings, winds, brass, and timpani, a many as one symphony. above and below, and it sounded more than okay. The multitude of tones swirled around one another until the orchestra sounded awesome like no other. Piccolo player stood amazed and aghast. The orchestra was playing together at last. There's a lesson in this, she surmised with a grin. When chaos is all around, don't stop or give in. Speech is not required to play and agree. All that is needed are notes and harmony. Now is the time for the piccolo player to shine. She took a deep breath and stiffened her spine.
Her dream had finally arrived to play with others, so she joined in the music with her new sisters and brothers. Just the other day, a piccolo player just wanted to play. <laughs> 